Hey guys, Jules here. Got a, another message for you. Um, the Lord just gave me this message yesterday on 6-8 and today is 6-9-2023. I think it's uh, 9-22 on the God's calendar. Um, let me just give God the glory. Father God, I give you the glory, Father. I give you the honor and praise for dreams, visions, words of knowledge. And Father, for giving us your word, Lord, so that it can be a lamp unto thy feet, Father. Thank you, Father, for the road map in life. Father God, I I bind every evil tongue right now in the name of Jesus, and I cut it out with the double-edged sword, Lord, and I kick, I slice off that head of the serpent, too, that's behind it, and I kick them back to the pit where they belong. And Father, I ask that you take this video to those that need to see it. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, amen. Guys, this is a positive message from the Lord. He's telling us what's more coming, a little bit more about what's coming for us, for those that are 144,000. And, you know, I want you to stick around. If you're not, if you feel like you're not part of the 144,000, stick around. There's a message for those that um, that are not intimate with God and, and um, you know, maybe even... Um, that need to get a little closer to the Lord. But I want to start off with this verse. And this is Luke chapter 20, verses 34 through 36. Luke chapter 20, verses 34 through 36. And this is Jesus talking. And Jesus answered and said to them, The sons of this age marry and are given in marriage. But those who are counted worthy to attain that age in the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage, nor can they die anymore. For they are equal to the angels and are sons of God being sons of the resurrection. So that's it. That's verses 30, 34 through 36. Um, so the Lord, so Jesus is talking here for those that are counted worthy to attain that age, he's talking about, uh, he's saying that the sons of this age, which is talking about the, the earth, being on the earth, um, going through this test, and those that can uh, attain the that age, which is the kingdom of heaven. Um, and so he he's telling us here, He's telling the Pharisees, he's speaking to them because they were trying to test him about marriage, about a woman that was married to the seven brothers. So the Lord says to them, nor can they die anymore, for they are equal to the angels and are sons of God and being sons of the resurrection. So the reason I start off with that is I get a lot of pushback about what God is telling me that we are going to be angels. And many of you that are the 144 that watch this channel, you have no doubt. There's no doubt. But I presented that scripture to help those that are in doubt. So let's get to the message. Uh, my son, this is a message of direction, warning, and prophecy. My son, this is prophetic insight about the promises of God. It is the believer filled with the Holy Spirit. And you are on spiritual ground in the prophetic office, and you are humble. You are waiting for destiny of the kingdom of God, where you, are, you will have eternal security in the presence of God, which is your inheritance in the third heaven for your works in the kingdom of God. My son, this is more prophetic insight. There is a big test coming, which will cause intimidation and fear. It will be overwhelming with enemy resistance. It's going to take large faith to get through the imposing obstacles of demons. And there is a need for the anointing for the pending judgment. You have holy garments and are ready for harvest with a pure heart. My son, the place of intimacy with God is the kingdom of heaven. And there is commencement of the place of sorting and purging for those who have righteous and pure and holy garments. These are glorious individuals 
who will receive a vantage point of being hidden with a new name. And then I want to read Revelations chapter 2. The message is not over. Still got more, but here uh, this ties in with that new name. Revelation chapter 2, verse 17. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna to eat. And I will give him a white stone. And on the stone, I a new name written, which no one knows except him who receives it. Moving on with the message. My son. Receive in your heart obedience and understanding about angel worship and be a witness against it on the eve of Christ's return. My son, you have a prophetic understanding about the land of the Greeks from a time long ago. My son, this is this next part is about the ministry, the church and revival. My son, you will be soul winning individuals who need delivered from demons and demon oppression. This message is revealing the secrets in your heart. There will be miracles. The people will need discipline in the word of God. It will take much leadership against the things valued by the world. The things of earth are simply snares of temptation. The cross and Christ is solid Bible teaching for those without the spirit and are presently dead. And I am speaking to those that are not intimate and not in fellowship. They are outside of Christ and cut off from God. My son, you are independent and separate, experiencing the unstoppable work of God, and you are well favored. You will be seeing facets of God, my handiwork in the church, and it will be the place of intimacy with me. You will have the kingdom of heaven's protection kingdom of heaven's protection, and be in a defensive fortification with my covering. My son, I am giving you more insight about the division and separation of humans and their flesh, and a transition and change is coming. Different ministries being busy building a path for others will soon be in operation introducing numerous problems for them ahead, and this will cause changed destinies and instilled mental strongholds. End of message. Now, of course, I always like to go back and just kind of point out some things in the message so that maybe it brings more light, a little bit clearer. Um, I, meant to, I meant to tell you that a lot of this message, God was speaking to me, and but at the same time, God is speaking to the 144,000 brothers and sisters. So I just want to kind of rehash some things here. The big test that is coming. This is the new level of judgment that is coming. Um, I think it's, I personally believe it's Revelation chapter 6 at the end of it. Um, and also with um, suitcase nukes, possibly. Um, who I don't know exactly what the new, the new elevation of, or, or, or the new level of judgment is, but based on the things that the Lord has shared with me, um, I can, you know, I'm, I'm making guesstimations. Let's just say it that way. There's intimidation and fear. It will be overwhelming with enemy resistance. There is a need for the anointing for the pending judgment. So this anointing, brothers and sisters, is the anointing of the 144,000. This is what the Lord is talking about. And he's saying to me, he goes, you have holy garments and are ready for harvest with a pure heart. And so are many of you that are ready to go. He's saying commencement of the place of sorting and purging for those who have righteous and pure and holy garments. So what the Lord is saying here, that the sorting and the purging is getting ready to happen. And what this is, is those that have holy garments that are ready for harvest and have a pure heart, he's going to sort you and you are going for training. That's where you're have, heading out to. That's what the Lord has already told us in many other messages. You're going to Gaboa. And um, those that are not, 
in, at this level will be purged from uh, from going, and you will not be going. So he's, the Lord is saying who these people are. They are glorious individuals who will receive a vantage point of being hidden with a new name. And, and that's why I read Revelation chapter 2, verse 17. He's saying, um, you'll be given a white stone and on the stone a new name written, which no one knows except him who receives it. Now, I'm going to be doing another video on angel worship. The Lord put this in here, a message about angel worship. What I, what I perceive from this is that many people, when, we, when the 144 come to earth, and they're at revival at the place the Lord has been telling me about for oh, oh, over a year now. It's going to be a garrison of angels. It's going to be, um, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a fortress of angels. Okay, and, and and with an angel army backing the fortress up. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a large amount of angels, right? So. Uh, <laughs> But the Lord is saying that the Greeks fell into this trap of angel worship. This is where the mythology comes in, guys. Um, you know, and the demigods. And they, they these were fallen angels. And they called them gods and demigods because the demigods were the ones that, uh, that were born from um, human women. Okay? So, um, so I'm going to do another video against angel worship. So God is saying to me, witness and speak against angel worship. Just like John, he's in the book of Revelation. He's in heaven or he's in this vision. And he bows down to the angel. And the angel says, stop that. Stop. Get up. What are you doing? You know, lift yourself up. You know, the angel, if he didn't correct him, could could actually fall into a, to a situation where he's, you know, being convicted of something. Mm -hmm. Allowing this person to worship, worship him. Okay. So the Lord's saying it in ministry, in the church, in revival, um, we are going to be in that place is going to be a defensive fortification with his covering. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, because we're going to need it in the midst of everything that's going to be happening, especially in this country, um, with a, a looming uh, invading army coming down on us. And, and then, you know, just so much more, the, the anger that's going to erupt. And the Lord's saying that in, in the last part of this message, I'm almost done, guys, is in the separation and division of humans and their flesh. What do you think that is, brothers and sisters? I've been talking to you this for a long time. Division and separation of humans and their flesh. See, God's been trying to get you guys to move out of your flesh into the spirit. I've been talking to you. God's been telling us all those that have been... Uh, that have been listening and have been fasting. They're moving closer to the spirit and to the spirit. Many of you are in the spirit. Um, you're trying to kill the old man, the flesh that Paul speaks about in Galatians. This is what he's saying. He's saying that this is a transition and this is a change coming where many people, many, many, many will be moving toward separating from the flesh. From the flesh and brothers and sisters what that is how do you kill the old man you deny your flesh you deny your flesh now, i'll leave it there i think you already know what that means so uh, i will i will just add this that many of you are going to have help in shedding the flesh because of famine i'll just put that out now i that's what i told you guys i, I i've said you know, do you want to do you want to do it on this side of judgment or that side of judgment? Because on this side of judgment, you become leaders, you become angels. OK, I just read it. What Jesus said, we will become angels. So then the last part of this is different ministries being busy building a path for others. So the Lord is telling me that there's going to be many ministries that rise up or even the churches now that are in that are in uh, operation. They are going to be um, trying to steer people. He's gave me. He's given me several other messages about this. I, I actually just um, talked to you about the the Jezebel spirit. That the Jezebel spirit is going to try to steer people in the church 
to stay in the church. But many people, the Lord is telling me, they're going to be really upset because they missed the rapture. And they're going to they're going to be out. They're going to be having a serious words for their pastor at the time, who who's also going to be a little loss of heart. He's going to have a lot of depression. And the Lord has told me this in several messages. But the church, those current churches that are in operation are going to change people's destinies and install mental strongholds. I mean, the change destinies is they're not going to go to heaven. He's going to they're going to. The churches are going to cause more issues. My friends, my brothers and sisters, a new church is rising. A church that is 100% God. That is 100% God's word. Doesn't have any um, any any religious or, or legalistic um, uh, practices. Okay? It's, it's straight out of God's word. This is his new church that's rising. This is his new church that's rising. The truth is getting ready to be told very soon. Hey, I love you guys. I really do. I love you guys. You know, I just read the other day that if you have the love of God, when you have the love of God and Christ in your heart, he gives you love for people. He gives you love for people. So I love you guys and I appreciate you. And I want you to know I'm thankful for who you are. So keep pressing in. Okay. It's not over. It's not over. Keep pressing in. Read the word, right? Pray every day and worship every day. And weekly, you should be fasting, shedding that flesh. Because if you're not going to do it now, you're getting ready to do it on the other side of this new level of judgment that's coming. That is going to turn some heads. God bless you guys. Jules out.